I want to share a quick tip with you on how you could save money during the Christmas season by using the wrapping paper that you have left over from wrapping your gifts to make bows like this one that I made using leftover wrapping paper. So I have a huge gift for my granddaughter wrapped in this Mickey and Minnie Mouse wrapping paper and this is all that's left of it. I don't have enough of it to wrap um, any more gifts that I have. So, and what I like about this is it has the lines on the back of it that I can follow along. But it, the wrap paper you use to make these doesn't have to have these lines, but I just like using these lines as guides. What you will need is uh, your paper, scissors, and a stapler, or you can use tape. And I've even used uh, glue from a hot glue gun. And then uh, something plastic to curl the paper with. And I'm using a plastic ruler. Now you can, you can cut it however long you want. It depends what kind of um, bow you want to make. If you want to make one like I just showed you, then you need to cut it long. If you want to make one a little bit smaller, it doesn't have the long curls hanging off. So it totally depends on what you want. Now, since this is a large gift, I want a big curly bow, long curls hanging off of it. So I'm going to cut this long. And there isn't a specific length. I just look at the, uh, the wrapping paper and decide, well, I think this is where I'm going to cut it. I like to use these lines as a guide, but I don't always cut on the line. You can make them as thin as you want or as wide as you want. It totally depends on what kind you want. This one, as you can see the curls are wide, and this one, the curls are thinner. And that's because of how I cut it. So this one, I want to be long curls like the silver one I showed you. So I'm gonna cut them kind of thin. And I, even though I do that, I do like to cut some wide pieces in there as well so that I have different dimensions in my bow and I'll cut this up and leave about one and a half to two inches because I use a stapler to like hold it together and I'll show you that when I get to that point of this. Okay. This is what I've got now. What I'm going to do is take my ruler Make sure I've got a smooth edge there. If you use something metal to do this, it's going to pull the strips off. What I find to keep the strips from being pulled off, even using something plastic, is right here at the tip of the strip. I will hold onto it with my finger and I'll just pull it. So now this is what I have the curls. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it down to the size I want. Check that out. What I'll do here is I will staple this together. And if there are strips that I don't think are curly enough for me, you know, I'll just go back and curl it again. Try to make it curlier. I don't think this is going to be enough of what I want on the on the gift because it's a it's a large box. So another thing I do sometimes to give me a little more dimension in the bows is I'm going to end up cutting some more of this but shorter and thin, still doing thin strips and curling them and adding both of these to the gift so that I'll have a large bow and the curls will get you know mixed up and it'll give me different dimensions. I wanted to show you how short I cut it compared to the first one that I cut. Okay, here is what this piece looks like after I've curled it. You can see that they're shorter and the curls are tighter, but that's okay, that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna fold this like I did the other one. See, they're the same width, and I'm going to be stapling them together. I do that to get those curls just to randomly fall over. I'm going to fold this over. What I try to do is to get the, the curls going in the opposite direction. So when I put it on the gift, they look random. I'm going to staple those together. And again, even after I get it on the box, if I'm not happy with the curl or two, I'll use my ruler and I will you know, make them tighter by pulling the uh, ruler through them again. I will take a piece of tape and put it across this way and leave a little bit sticking off because then I will tape it there and then fluff out the bow. I got that on there. I taped it. After I got it on, there were a few curls that weren't curly enough for me. So I just took um, my ruler and curled them 
pattern. So that's it. I think it looks just as good as the ones you can buy in the store.